In judo, the sign of the world champion is the red back patch. Sagi Muki now holds that honor at under 81 kilograms. At the world championships in Tokyo last year, he blasted his way to the final with his typical brand of spectacular judo. In the final, he faced Belgian rising star Matthias Kasse, with both men looking to make history by becoming the first man from their country to be a world champion. It was Muki who rose to the occasion with a stellar performance, throwing Kasse for two Wazaris, making him Israel's first ever male world champion. A title which has eluded Muki for far too long. An incredible moment for both him and his adoring fans. But since that moment, it has been Kasse who was impressed the most by going undefeated. The Belgian has some big throws up his sleeve, but truly excels in groundworks, where he can catch just about anyone with his speed and tenacity. He has won both the Masters and the Paris Grand Slam and taken the coveted world number one spot away from Muki. At world number three, hot on the heels of the top two, is Germany's wrestle. And behind them is a phenomenal lineup. World bronze medalist Albayrak of Turkey, world and Olympic medalist Valwa Fortier of Canada, the 2015 world champion Nagase of Japan, who having not been selected for the world championships, has been looking ominously back to his very best this year. And his teammate, the 2018 world silver medalist Fujiwara. The dangerous Dutchman, De Witt. And the reigning Olympic champion, Russia's Kalmazeo, who also looks like he is recapturing his form of four years ago, at just the right time. And finally, the man who wore the red backpatch before Muki, but has never faced him, Saeed Molai. The match everyone is waiting for, when Molai's raw power, unorthodox style, and incredible determination meets the finesse of Muki. The clash of the last two world champions. Two gladiators, one victor.